guys, we are live. Thank you for coming to our live. Brenda will be momentarily here, but we can show you what she has so far. Oh, hopefully it's not too bright. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm trying to tweak everything. Hi guys. Hi. Hi Andrea. Hi Betty Strong. Strong man. Dara. Darcy. Hi everybody. <laughs> we are live. Brenda will be here in a second. She's gonna show you which what we're doing today. Cause I have no idea. <laughs> I mean I have her pretty much an idea, but I don't know. <laughs> Hi. Oh guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And um Click on that little bell notification. And like this video. Yay! Should probably put all that stuff on. Oh, and don't forget to shop at the website. Diddy! She's coming. I'm here. I'm good. Let's see who all we got. Darcy. Andrea. Betty. Big hello to everyone. Dara. Darcy. Proud Mimi. Deborah. Ilyanka. How you doing? Wow. This is great. I'm sorry I'm late. I've been like working like an animal. And one of those days where you you work like an animal and like nothing's happening. <laughs> you just keep spinning your wheels. You know, one of them days. So, I got something pretty to show you today. You know, I've been getting into the autumn jewelry. And I made this cute little ditty this morning. I used things like were in this package which I'm giving free, and the order's this week. Let's see, this is the week of today, September, what, 8th? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that week. <laughs> I don't give these every time, but this is what um, I'm giving away. And it's stuff like, to show you a little bit better. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at what Donna said. <laughs> was Don oh, Jeffy's here. <laughs> you guys, you know who Jeffy Lou is? It's not. Let's see, who's here that would... <laughs> Hi, Carol. I'm trying to think who's here would even know her. Wearing stones. Let's see, who's here would even know Jeffy Lou? Hmm, I don't think anybody did. Anyway, that's my sister-in-law, Donna. She used to be in the videos with me all the time. She's going to yeah. come over and be in them again soon. Anyway, here's my box of my mixture of stuff that I put into these bags. So you can see it's a generous bunch of, it's supposed to um, close to two ounces, maybe a little under, a little bit over. And you get them free with an order of $35 up. Sweet. So like you can make like earrings galore out of this. You can make a random bracelet. There are some pairs of things I tried hard to do that. Um, I'm going to put them together. So I just wanted to show you. I got excited when these Things came in because um, more and more I'm finding that um, some of the check styles that we really like are being reproduced, excuse me, in acrylic. Which, you know, okay, so if you don't like acrylic, you don't like it, but sure is a lot less expensive and it looks pretty blame good. Let me tell you what. I'll show you, for example. We've had a few for a while. <clears throat> this heart, you might remember this heart. Have you walked out? So I hope you can see it. This heart. We sell a lot of them at the website. They're making it in acrylic now. In white and black and red. The black one's not doing anything for me, so I didn't get it. <clears throat> but I got that. And I got, well, it's actually like a cream color. And I like it because 
we can change it up. You can paint this and make it look awesome. I'll show you a few things that I did with it that make you know give you some ideas. This is a great piece. You know, you're going to be able to do so many things with it. And we still do have them in glass. You know, if you prefer glass, we have them. And they're not terribly expensive. But this is, you know, kind of sort of that look, but does cost less. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. What else came? Oh, these. These are stone. But they look like the Czech glass. So that's kind of cool. But these are stone. These are that, um, some people call it synthetic turquoise. I don't know how synthetic it is. It's not turquoise, that's for sure. What it usually is is a halite or magnesite base. Let me see. It's up here. They're cool. These are a little bigger than the ones I've had in the past, so I really, really like them. Cool earrings, that's for sure. And then these little guys <clears throat> are made like the glass uh, maple leaves we've had often. So those are kind of cool, too. So I have them in my necklace. And oh yeah, I don't know if you got to see them yet, but I am in love with these. Let me see if I can find one in here because I don't see one on, on the table. Here it is. I love these. See? Bumblebee beads. They're acrylic with gold on them. Tortoiseshell kind of color with gold on them. Just they're like twisted and and they're like bumblebees. I love them. I love them. So you'll like them too. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's Michelle, how are you? I haven't seen you for a while. Oh, so nice to see you. Oh, Michelle remembers Brenda and Donna's videos. There we go. Got somebody to remember. If you guys are curious about it, just scroll back about eight years. <laughs> My video is seven, eight. And I did a lot of videos with them. Um, uh, I did a lot of videos with uh, Donna back then. It was when we were at the shop. And the thing I regret about those videos is we were really silly a lot of times. Some of them I had to take down because we just got too nuts. She, she's a lunatic, and when I'm with her, I turn into one too. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm hoping she'll come over here. We had some ideas uh, for her to... Uh, be in a few videos with me again. So we're planning them. That's going to be fun. You still there, Jeffy Lou? I don't know where she got that name from, but that's Donna. So when you see Jeffy Lou, that's Donna. And you guys probably know Donna is <clears throat> Robbie's mom and Javi's mother-in-law. And she's my sister-in-law for 48 years, I think. Long time. I'm married to her brother. So, anyways, but so I used a lot of these things in here. Oh, this one too. This is another one. This is like those little eight millimeter hibiscus flowers that I love. Only, you know, I have them in check, which I will continue buying them check because I like them. And the range of color is a little broader. Um, these are acrylic. Cool. Don't cost near as much. Get a lot more. That's money. Okay, so here's my necklace that I made today. What do you think? Now, the thing about this is I like the weight of glass better. Who said that? I want to see. Yeah, a lot of people do, Deborah, but acrylic has its place, especially for earrings and things like that. And also for people who want that look and don't want to spend the money. Because here's the thing. Many, many of the big, big name designers over the years, going clear back to like the 50s or so, used a lot of mod acrylic, acrylic composition plastic, that kind of thing. This is nothing new, and it wasn't junk joy. In fact, we were talking about the other day. I got some of these. Um, I don't have any here to show you, but I showed them. I think Diane showed them in the group. Branch coral, and they were real thick, heavy acrylic. And she says, I think I remember seeing that in a Kenneth J. Lane piece that's very collectible. So she, went, she did some searching and she found it. So, I mean, Kenneth J. Lane used a lot of plastic because he made those great big chandelier earrings like Jewels of India type stuff. and uh, A lot of other companies, Lisner, 
Um, Teferi used it sometimes. Koro used it a lot. Thermoplastic especially. So you want to go back and research it. You'll find out that there's a lot of use <coughs> for good quality acrylic beads. And I don't buy junky ones. So if you buy mine or you get mine, you will like them. And these are free. So I think, Deborah, you're going to be getting some. <laughs> I think you'd be getting some because I think I saw you order not too long ago. So, um, yeah, you'd be getting some. This is a nice bag of stuff. It's got the hearts. I love this heart. I'm nuts about this. But we do have it in check. It's got its place. You can, you know what I like? I like to mix up a little bit of really good acrylic with, with glass and a little bit of stone. I think it makes it so eclectic and so funky, and I just love it. Sometimes I'll put um, glass and bone. You guys see me do that a lot of times. Stone and glass, stone and glass, gla uh, stone and bone, <laughs> that kind of thing. So yeah, I mean, lots of ways to do it. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to change some of these beads up with, um, oh, here she comes with a chicken. Sorry, I love the chicken bone. ADHD video. Who said that? Jeffy. Yeah, you were in that one, definitely. <laughs> she is here. Yeah. The non-glass beads look good. Yeah, they do. And they yeah. feel good, too. They are good. I'm very, very happy with them. I thought when I got them, I got, you know, let's have a look at these. And um, I love uh, these bumblebee beads are so cool. If those were glass, that would be quite expensive you know you gotta save some money where you can well they look like glass <laughs> yeah they do they look <laughs> like glass so yeah. anyway but yeah i know some people kind of you know still want their glass whatever. um myself i've used acrylic in my work for years a lot of lucite at one time oh, because i used to do the great great big honker pieces and they would get so heavy, it was crazy. So if you use a little bit of acrylic cabs and stuff like that in there, it would help to reduce the weight on it. And I think that's why a lot of the designers did that too back in the day. Um, not just not just to reduce weight, but also cost a little bit because it could get really, really, really heavy. Isabel Featherston, I like the green and yellow leaves. Yeah, those are cool. They're acrylic. And I'm going to show you what I did with them. And I got my ideas. Wearing Stones uses both. Colors great for fall. They sure are. I got my idea from Sarah Jones, who isn't with us right now. But you guys from, are on the group. Must be on the group. You know Sarah. Sarah Gold Jones. Uh, she does all the pretty uh, tissue decoupage stuff every week. And all kinds of other things. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful work has a good look. You always know it's Sarah. Um, she took these leaves and she painted them and did stuff with them. So I thought, well, okay. Um, you guys should be getting some in your packs. I've tried to put some in every pack. Yeah, there's some in there. Yeah, there's some in the pack. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to show you what I did with them to just kind of change them up and make them fun. Okay? So anyways, so here they are. I'll show you what they look like to begin with. They look like this. So if you like them just like that, then that's that's cool. Why not use them like that? Sure. But, you know me, I always like to change things up a little bit, you know. So, I took the yellow one and I put in clear embossing, uh, not powder, but uh, what do they call it? Ink, clear embossing ink. I had a little, you know, senior moment. Um, clear embossing ink first, like we do when we do Perfect Pearls. Put some down first to make it stick, and then I use Perfect Pearl, Pearl. <laughs> we just got some in the other day. We, we just restocked them, a lot of them. So anyway, so I got this one, and I used it on here, and that's what made it look like that. So you want to see? I'll show you. And I'll show you, demonstrate how it's done. Okay, I'll do it on both of these. Because here's what the... I use a little bit of Gilder's paste on this, too, being honest. So, I'll show you how it's all, how I did all good. And then you, you do need to seal it. You know, let it dry for a while. You guys know how it goes. Leave, let it dry for a while, and then 
hit it with a little bit of clear coat, which we have in those big bottles that are spray bottles now. They're very economic, but some people don't want to buy that much at a time, I understand. But that's what I have. Or just get the Krylon brand or whatever brand floats your boat uh, spray lacquer from the hardware store. That's probably the cheapest way to go of all. And it works just fine. Okay, so anyway. So first I'm going to put this down. And let me see if I need a new... Uh, I think I need a Somebody said they use both. Can you, can you use both acrylic and glass beads? Yeah, beads? why not? Yeah, that's fine. I think you have but some yeah, in that mix, right? Yeah, there's nothing like a beautiful glass. I think beetle. you have glass in that mix that no, you're giving. Oh, no. no, no. It's acrylic and uh, there's thought, some stone. I thought there was crackles. There is some stone in there. No. If there's a crackle bead or two, it probably came out of that orange mix. Yeah, I see a crackle bead in here. <laughs> yeah, but not, not really. Not as much. Not really. Yeah. Not, not oh, really. yeah, and you did give us some semi-precious in there. Yeah. There's, I see there's that some, there. uh, there's a little punky bead. Oh, be nice if I was in camera, right? Here's another one. Little melon bead, punk bead, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Here. I'll dump this out a little bit and show you what's all in it. $35 order, you get one free. And here's what, I'll just throw this out there and you'll be thinking about it while I'm talking. What I thought might be fun is for those that get them, of course, who knows, you know, we might not sell that much stuff and maybe people are just not that interested, I don't know. But it's free. I mean, if you're going to buy an order from us anyway, you're going to get that so long as your order's 35 up, and most of the orders are, so um, easily. So um, you're going to get it free. And you can, here's the thing, most of the stuff that's in here, you can buy separately too. I don't know if anybody looked at the autumn collection section of our website. Javi just made it this week. It's beautiful. She's got a beautiful banner. She pulled everything she could in there, and we're still pulling stuff that goes with fall. And a lot of these beads are in there, like this little leafy guy, and this these hearts are in there, and the leaves are in there, and oh, there's a bunch of other stuff. The heart, anyway, there's a bunch of stuff in there. You can buy them on their own, you know, like, hey, I want more of those. So this is one way to see, like, you know, oh, if you're going to like it or not. You know, so you get it. If you like it, you come back, get more, because we have lots. We have lots more. Okay, so, yes, you did, Deborah. That's why you're getting one of these. That's what I said. You're getting one. You're going to like it. But, yeah, glass is wonderful. Okay, so, I like them all. I like all beads. Lately, I've been, like, so loving bone beads. I've been finding some new resources for bone beads. I was buying a lot of them from my friend Ravin in India, where he just gets those bulk mixes for me. I'm putting clear embossing ink on this, by the way. Um, he gets them for me, and they're low cost. What's bad is the DHL shipping is, like, incredibly bad, but it still works out. Anyway, but I thought it would be nice to get some new stuff. So I had those pendants, those elephant pendants, and the peanut butter cat, I call them. Um, and I ran out, and I do have more on order. I'm happy to tell you. They won't be here for a while, though. But I've been looking at other things, too, that I can get in bone that are really nice. Love, love, love organic materials. Anyway, I put clear embossing ink down first. And this is the stamp pendants, which we used to have on the website. And don't you know it? The main supplier for this does not carry it anymore, so I will have to go to the Stampendus company and see if I can buy it on my own, which I probably won't be able to because the minimum will be too high for me to buy that much minimum mixed media product because our main thing is beads and stampings and stuff like that. But I'm going to check and see because I love it because it has this, um, you know, dabber top, which is kind of dirty, but it still works. Okay. So, I mean, and it lasts a long time. So what I have on the website now, because you do have to have the clear embossing ink, is I have it in a big pad, and that works just fine, too. You just wipe the, the leaf over the pad, you know, the bead, whatever you're doing, over the pad, and you're good. Okay, so this you got to have this down, though, because it won't stick, the powder. Now, Perfect Pearls is mica powder, for any that don't know, most of you do, uh, is, is mica powder. I'm just putting a little bit here, you can see. And it has a resin binder in it. And that's why it works really, really good, like with epoxy clay. You don't have to seal it if you put in epoxy clay, epoxy sculpt. 
um, because that's resin too, so they just are together and they're good. But if you put it on metal or plastic or whatever, you've got to have the embossing ink down first so it will stick, okay? So I just take, once I get it down good, and I just take and just dust it on with one of these little cheapy DB brushes. You can wash them out too if you want. Sometimes it takes a few tries. I probably yacked too much and started to dry. But anyway, you know, I don't really care if it's like all the way on it because I like a little bit of high and low up and down. You know that. So there's the green one. Wow, that really popped in it. And you could do the back too if you like. This isn't stick and see because there's no embossing ink on it. Just a little. Now what you can do with this after you do this it doesn't hurt to go over it with a uh, heat gun, if you have one, even if you don't. Um, I don't advise this so much because it's not as good, but it won't hurt anything. It's a blow dryer. A real hot blow dryer can work too, but really a heat gun is what you want because it's, it's hotter. And we still have the Doris ones on the website, but when we're out, I can't get them anymore. Boo hoo. So I'm looking to find a good one. Tim Holtz has one, and I can get those. Um, but I'm just so spoiled because the Doris one was so awesome. I mean, it was almost as uh, it was almost as hot as a torch. I could raise patina on brass with that thing. I mean, it was amazing. So anyway, I've talked so long that probably is just drying. So I'll put no more. This one really pops, I think, when you put. The pearl. But you know, you don't have to put pearl on. You can put any color you want. I mean, we got half a billion, half a bazillion colors, right? Perfect pearls. Now you might say, well, will Pearl X work with this? Um, well, with the embossing powder, maybe. You know, I, I can't say entirely. Pearl X for me is really good to mix into other things. Like when I used uh, UT, I put a little bit of Pearl X in there and boy, would that color spread. You know, it's just other things seem better, but I'm just addicted to the perfect pearls. They just work better for me. You know, that's what I like. Uh, see, it won't stay because I have no embossing in. So that's, you know, that's all you do. And you can experiment and have fun. You can, it doesn't have to be these leaves. Although these leaves are matte. And I will tell you, on the matte stuff that you see out there, the crystal matte and the different colored matte acrylics, they have kind of like what you call a tooth to them. And they will grab better than a smooth one. But, I mean, you can do it. You can still do it. I'll show you. We'll try some. I'll try one of these hearts. Also that works real good on this is Gilder's Paste. Uh, another thing would work really good, a Lunar. Lunar Paste would work super good. Um, your Lumiere paints that we carry, but even just, you know, your regular garden variety acrylic paints that you may have on hand. Deco Art's a good brand. Um, you, you know, you can paint them. That's what I want to say. They won't look like this, you know, but you want this shiny stuff, you've got to use something with mica powder in it, which is perfect pearls. But I'm just saying other things. Lumiere paints have mica in them, so you might get a little shine with that. Um, lunar paste, I think, too. And lunar paste, if you mix a little bit of perfect pearls in it, then it really gets, you know, real pretty. Yeah, I used to... When I had Inca Gold all the time, there were several things you could mix in the Inca Gold. I think there's even an old video on it that just made it like so scrumptious. But it's pretty nice on its own, honestly. Um, so anyway, let's try something that's not one of these leaves. How about, let's try this heart. This is a little bit more like a harder plastic. It's not matte. It's got a semi-gloss finish to it, kind of. So it's, I'm gonna need probably a color on here for this to really look good. So let's see what I got here. Oh, I got, I like Poppy. Poppy, ooh, that's so pretty. It's like a coral pink, you know? I like it, let me wipe some of this off. Here. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush. Oh, somebody's from Brazil. From Brazil. Wow, bom dia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn to read it. I can read it. I can read it just fine. I can't speak it, obviously. Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese. That's another tale. 
I started when I was in high school to learn it along with Spanish because they're close. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just never finished. I got to the place where I speak fluent Spanish, but I just, Portuguese is just enough different that I had to keep going back to it. So I do once in a while. Yes, welcome. Welcome. Rose. Angela. Angela. I'm trying to think how that G sounds. Rose Angela? I know how to say it in Spanish. Okay, so I've got, um, I've cut um, this, the embossing ink on here. So now I'm gonna get a little bit of this Perfect Pearls that fell out of the thing. And I'm gonna put it on. This isn't gonna grab as good because I had a slightly gloss finish, so the Perfect Pearls would probably be better if you did them over paint or something. I mean, it is getting on, but it's not, um, probably not your best choice. It's not one to hang in there, you know. So let's try something else, okay? It's not sticking? No, it's because it's got a slight gloss to it. Hmm. So what will stick is Gilbert's Pace. It won't matter that that's on, it's fine. It's not a big deal. She loves beets. Hi, Jerry. Gary. Lewis. Gary Lewis. Cool. All right. So this is this is a uh, patina Gilder's paste wax. Okay. You guys probably have this at home. I carry it. I I have lots of videos on Gilder's paste. Anyway, so I'm just gonna stick. I know I've got this, but I'm just gonna stick my finger here and say this is a brand new one, so it's soft, mm -hmm. not dried out. I get a new one because the one I had I opened like five years ago and didn't do much with it, and it does tend to dry out. I hate that. Couldn't you put so, a little bit of something else in there? What? I don't know. You recommended a long time ago, but I can't. Well, you mean to bring it back up? Yeah. It's dried out. Yeah, linseed oil, uh, something oh, like that. Yeah. But that's stinky and noxious oh. so i don't yeah, I like it <laughs> but you can you can reconstitute it chop it just up. leave it in like in a room that you don't want to be in well i don't like breathing it at all at all i don't okay so you can see i'm getting a change of color here with this but you can paint these you can definitely paint these you the best choice here probably for this and i don't have any here should have brought some out. We just got a new color. Um, is lunar paste? Lunar paste would probably be really good on this. That's it's true. It dries quicker. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah. So this might require you know a couple times. It's still looking really white. It, believe me, it's not. Let's see. If I put it in my hand. Bring it. You can see. It's got color on it. Yeah, but you could definitely add color. And then like say that I go from this, and I want to put maybe the gold. The gold probably would really look let's see add a little gold i'll show you what it looks like too if you put it on a stone leaf like that in a minute try not to pollute it too much okay see that's really taken i always love the gilder's paste for over clay like you can apply it to polymer clay and bake it or, no, don't bake it. Wait till it's dry. When it comes um, Patricia out. said, is there something else you can use besides embossing ink? Not with Perfect Pearls. No, you need embossing ink. If you're going to use Perfect Pearls, other than that, you don't need it. You don't need it to paint anything. You just need it... Um, you, just, you just need it if you want the Perfect Pearls to stick. Like... If you go back, <clears throat> Patricia, if you go to um, my channel here at YouTube, you'll see there's a search box kind of towards the top um, on the right. Punch in perfect pearls. All the videos will come up, all of them. And you'll see all the things I've used them on. I mean, tons of stuff. And um, always have to have embossing it. And then if you can use heat on it to set it, that's even better. You don't have to, but I recommend it. And by all means, you do have to seal it. So there's, you know, 
with the gilder's paste. Didn't come up quite as good as I would have liked. Probably regular paint would be maybe better. That may be something you want to play with. But the possibilities <laughs> are there, believe me. <laughs> she says I'm using my husband's YouTube. <laughs> good. Oh, it's Christine. Hey, hey Christine. Christine. <laughs> <How you doing? laughs> I was just like about to say. <laughs> I always think this is Gary Lewis. I always think of the singer Gary Lewis. Yeah, me too. My brain goes there. Do you know who that is even, Holly? That's before your time. I think I heard of him. Um, Betty said, can you use Swell Against Sealer? Yes. Especially if you bought that spray thing, container I have of it now, which has Sculpt Nouveau. And I'll have you guys here. I'll just tell you about it. That product of that sealant, and all that line, the brass, the, the metal coatings, and the dioxides, and Tiffany, and gold green patina, darkening patina, all that. That is all made by a company called Sculpt Nouveau. Okay. Um, my friend Christy, who I love dearly, she got the idea to put it in small bottles for, you know, people who like to do crafts. Because the big bottle is a little daunting. I think, you know, it's hard to buy it, you know, less than eight ounces, and usually they want 16. You know, most of us are not going to use that much of it. I would. But most of us, for casual use, are not going to use that much. So she bottled it into two ounce packages, and she called it Swell Again. And that's perfectly fine. That's just called, but that, that's what they call private labeling. Sculpt Nouveau has no problem with you doing that. That's fine, but it is Sculpt Nouveau. So the things I have now and Swelligan are the same company. It's the same parent company. I really don't want to bottle Swelligan in two ounce bottles, although I could. Of course, I would not call it Swelligan. That's her trade name for it. I would just probably just call it Sculpt Nouveau and get the permission to use their logo, but I'm not going to do that because I don't, I don't sell enough of it. You can buy it from uh, Avies if you want. I think she has a little bit on her website, too, still, if you want to buy it from her. Um, at one time, we sold the proverbial crap ton of it. I mean, we we were like box in, box out. We sold so much swelling it. I was one of the first vendors to have it, besides, of course, Christy, who put it together. And we did the first videos on it. She took it to the next level. Um, but anyway, it's the same thing. So we have it in the 8-ounce bottle with the spray top, which I love. We have darkening patina. We have Tiffany green. We have matte sealant, which is what Betty's talking about. And we have, we have a satin sealant, too, which I never had before. I didn't know that existed, and it's real pretty. And then we had a special metal degreaser, but we sold like right out on that, so I have to buy some more of that. Anyway, that's how that went. Okay, Stickles, three, alcohol ink. Yeah, you can do that. Stickles is kind of, um, do they even make that anymore? I used to carry it years ago. Um, yeah, alcohol ink works really good on the matte acrylic, if you like alcohol ink. I don't carry alcohol ink because I can't ship it. It's flammable. And uh, you, United States Postal Service doesn't want anything in your packages that's flammable. So... Um, I don't have the right licensing to be able to do that. So I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I have tons of alcohol ink in my, you know, little workshop arsenal, but I, I'm not a huge fan, but it works. It definitely works. Especially on something with a little tooth, like the matte acrylics would definitely work with that. You know, so that's a couple little ideas. It's mostly stuff you just gotta play with it, you know. But if you want to colorize this bead, see this is what it looks like for and then there's this, you know, I mean you can definitely make a change in it. You know, I can make this this looks real vintagey now. But you know if I wanted to get my paints out and mess around with them, I'd probably find a world of things that I could do. I would not do that on my glass beads, although you could Although you could, but I would not do that on my glass beads. But on plastic, what the hey? You know, what the hey? Go ahead, do it. You're welcome, Patricia. You're very welcome. Let's see who I miss here, because I'm feeling I miss people. Uh, dear our bone beads, yes, we know that. No, I'm not offended, Deborah. I just, we have different opinion, that's all. So, 
Anyway, let's go ahead and let me show you what I made today. I made a tassel with the beads and the stuff, you know, that I put in this bag, you know, but we sell them separate. I don't know if you could make this whole thing out of what's in the bag. This, this is very random. These are pieces I pulled out, of course. Um, but this is on a wire. And I don't know if you've seen me do this before or not, but hey, let me get a piece of wire and show you. I take usually about six inches about six inches of it. This is 20 gauge faux gold. So it's not quite as bright as like gold gold, but you know, I'm not sure if we have this at the site or not. I know we have gold. Yes, we do have faux gold. But I don't do know we? Do we have faux gold? Okay. Well, it's probably 20 gauge. Because usually I buy 20, 20 and 26, although Harvey's been telling me I need to buy more 22 and a little bit of 24 too. So, as well. Okay, so I have this nice piece, and it's already curved, because you know a wire's curved. Let me get this out of the way so you can see. Okay, so what I do is I'll take a dampering, about an 8 or a 10 millimeter. She's in Norway. Okay, cool. Wow, we have an international crowd today. Yeah. Happy some Chile. <laughs> I'm from Ohio. <laughs> Could you sell the spray bottles without product? I was born in Chile, but raised in Florida. <laughs> sell the spray bottles without well, you can. The spray, spray bottles, bottles are not hard to product? find, Deborah. You can get them in a dollar store. No, she's telling you maybe you could sell it without the spray bottle. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. It hasn't occurred to me to do that. It's a thought. Everything's a thought. Not mine. Customer comment. Customer, customer. Okay, let's see Howdy. what I got on here. Howdy, Jan. What did I put on here? Oh, Jan's here. Hey, Jan. Good to see you. Okay, I need two of these. I want to try to do the same thing I did in here. And I need two bumblebee beads. I think I need, yeah, I need a little bit of this. I need these little beads here. Don't tell me I use, oh, you know what? I got some over here. I saved these for me. Howdy. Do they say howdy in Norway? <laughs> she didn't seem to know what it is. <laughs> yeah. I love to see um, international pals join us. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, I need a couple of spacer beads. I'd use the patina color spacer beads if you don't want to. There's one. There it is. Oh, now I hit. I hate when they go and hide. All right. So, all right. So, I have my six inch little curved piece, okay? And I put a jump ring in the middle. And the reason I did that is because then I could hang something from it. And I don't have to try and get it up around the beads and maybe scratch the beads later. So that's why I did that. So I'm gonna start with my bumblebee beads. Bzzz. That'd be a challenge to see what you can make that looks like a bumblebee with that. Remember, Miriam Haskell had this necklace in a book. It was all uh, beads that they made look like a swarm of bumblebees. It was cool. Okay. And then I'm going to put a couple of these leaves on. These are stone, of course. I think I told you that. Sometimes I want to fight you toward the one. And I just kind of push, insist a little bit, you know, and then I'll come through. And it'll be good. Oh, you're welcome, Betty. I don't know how much good I did, but anytime anybody wants to know about stuff I sell, I'll tell you whatever I know. I don't know everything in the world, but that product I know a good bit about because I've been using it for a long time and teaching it too. So, and we carried it for a long time, swelling it. I love it. I, w I wish they still had it, but there's a long story that, and I don't think I even know the whole story on why. Um, 
it's not available the way it used to be, but um, I used to buy mine from one of my other suppliers that carried it, and then they decided when, I don't know, just stuff happened. They decided they weren't going to get any more, and I was peeved. I said, come on, you guys, couldn't you please get it? You're making it hard for me. I want to go somewhere else. But they said, no, we just don't want to. So, okay, fine. So then I had to, I have to buy it from another company and they want too high of a minimum order to be worth it to me and they charge too much shipping. So I'm, I just went straight to Sculpt and Go. And maybe at some time I'll rebottle, but all I would ever rebottle probably be like the sealant because that's the main one to me. I love the darkening painting too. I use a lot of that. Okay, so I got it like this. You can see how I've got it going across. So now what I want to do is I want to try to get it like equidistant on each end, the same amount, you know. So I'm going to measure and see where, oh, until you bend that up, it's going to do that. It's going to go flying off sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to, if I can't get it equidistant, I'll, I'll change it. See how much is here? A little bit over an inch. Not quite an inch. So I think I'll just cut this down a little bit because it doesn't have to be that long. <laughs> Eyeballing it. That's funny. What? No, we say hey. Is that how you say it? Hi? Hey? Hey? <laughs> and then Jan said I love BC leaves. She loves BC leaves. Thank you. I'm glad. I do too. I don't make them. I just pick them. I'll just pick them out. All right, so we'll see now how, I like to be about the same because it can interfere with um, how the loop's gonna look. Yeah, it needs to come down a little bit more on the side. Now I'm not gonna make this whole necklace, obviously, because it, it takes too long, but I'm just gonna show you this basic part so you'll know. And the rest of it is stuff we've done before, but I'll kind of review it real quick for you. I don't want to keep you here all day and all night. And if anybody is watching and has not said anything yet, you should say something if you can, because I'm doing a drawing today. So long as YouTube doesn't go and erase all my comments, makes it tough. I'll do something, though. Um, also, if you don't mind, too, I, I, did, I failed to mention... I really appreciate if you guys can like the video, if you can subscribe. I think a lot of you guys are already subscribed to the channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel helps us. Um, liking and also, especially if you comment under the video, not just here. YouTube isn't looking here. They're looking at the comments under the video. And the reason they're looking, because they're trying to see how many people like this stuff. Because that's how they gauge how they're going to show it to other people. It's like, oh, do people like this or not? You know, if they don't, if they're not commenting, if they're not liking, if they're not subscribing, they just figure, oh, well, this person's not that popular, not doing a good job. We're not going to spend any time on them, you know, and show their product more. It gets, it gets me seen. So we don't make any more money on it. We don't make much money on YouTube anyway. I don't think a lot of people do anymore. But anyway... That's not the point. You monetize your videos at, at, at Google so that they can do what they got to do and get their advertising on there. Then you get seen more. So it's not money you get. It's your ranking. We want people to see us. I got to tell you, most of the people at the creative group over the days, over the times, have come from YouTube. I would say at least half of my friends in the creative group are people who found me at YouTube. So, you know, YouTube is powerful. You know, YouTube is a big search engine. YouTube is Google. You know, I don't know if you knew that. It's Google. It's just another part of Google. So now I'm going to take about six inches of this bead link chain. This is the gold stuff. And yes, I do have some at the site. Um, I like the type I always got. This stuff is, is the same style, but it's not quite 
as nice. It doesn't have the heft or something. I don't know. And I can only get it in gold, so that's disappointing. So I continue to search for a supplier. The last time I was able to get some from those folks, and we had the gunmetal, and all they had was just a little bit. I mean, it flew out of, of the place. It just went running. Went crazy. Yeah, and... I was surprised. I didn't even think it would sell because they jacked the price up on it so bad, which is, you know, like everywhere. So if you think I jacked my prices up, just remember this because everybody that sells to me get it. And it just means that, I mean, I can't go for broke on it. I mean, I, I just make less, period. That's all. That's why I need you. Tell your friends about me. Okay, so here's what I do. I've got this little six, and this is what I'm going to make my tassel from, okay? Just this piece of chain. And I'm sure if you've been following me for a while, you see me do this lots of times. I'll take it in the middle, like this. See how long it's going to be. Yeah, that'll be about right. And you can kind of tell, too, like if I put leaf on the ends, how long it's going to be. That's going to be a good length. Especially if I don't make this too long. This one that I made today, I may actually lengthen a little bit because it's, it's a little bit, it's only like 17 inches. That's a little choky for me. I'd like it to be more like 19 or 20. But not more than that for this style. But anyway, so I just put stuff on the end. So let's just say I work with it like this. Okay. So I put a leaf on both ends, maybe, or whatever leaf. I use this one when I made my necklace. And then I'll put one like this side, this side. Who's that? I found a little snowman in there. <laughs> found a snowman. And I'll put one like this. And this maybe. Just going back and forth. And then I'll wire up some of these beads. And I'll put one maybe here. And I need some more of these red beads here. Fortunately, there's a lot of them. I love oh, this. The red, red I love beads. this red acrylic bead. Oh, man. This yeah, is true. awesome. Really nice. Uh-huh. So like this. And like this, and like this. You're just going back and forth, you know. And then what I'll do, and of course these are going to stay on because I didn't hook them up, but then I pull it up at the end and see how it falls. And then I might have to make some adjustments, put some more on, take some off, you know, whatever, like that. And so always exciting with Brenna. Oh, somebody said, can you, you must watch me a lot. I didn't know I had a, a watcher in. in uh, <laughs> I think Norway. they all watch. Awesome. Can you suggest a good sturdy silver chain? Yeah, ours. <laughs> <laughs> they know it specifically which one. <laughs> yeah, which one, yeah. Um, the bead well, and link, you do know, we have any more bead and link in this? Silver? We have some, but I don't think it's on the site for some reason. It's gone off, so we do have a little bit of bead and link in silver yet. That was my favorite go-to chain. The Figaro's are all good. Figaro, Figaro. Uh, we have some more delicate chain, more delicate than we used to because... People were asking for delicate, especially like paper clips and stuff like that. But if you're ever curious, ever when you're shopping on our site, if the chain has got a little heft to it, or is more sturdy or whatever you'd like to know, just ask me. I'll be happy to, to help you out and tell you. So anyway, so then when I get this all put on here, I'll take like this piece maybe right here in the middle, a loop. And then I will take a jump ring and I will... Get up in here with difficulty. I usually have to bend this a little bit to get it. And then I'll get up in there and hook it on there. Okay. Like you can see here. See, I just, can you see that? Uh, can you zoom Javi a little bit this way? A little bit more? What are we going for? I want to show them how I put this on here. Now, let me get my pointer. Okay, here's that jump that I... They can't see it. I thread... Oh, no, they can't. I'm off camera. Okay, here's that jump I threaded on to begin with. Okay, right here. And I've gone through it with another jump so that I could hang my tassel. So that's how that's on there. Okay. I put one jump, then another, so it'll hang down. So here's this. So, whoever wins my drawing today is going to get this and a bunch of these other beads I worked on wow. and some other things and this piece of task whatever. so you can make yours you'll be able to make yours okay I'll give you all the stuff you need to finish making yours and um, maybe some more stuff too because you know me I just love to throw more stuff in there 
Um, she says I've been watching for several years. Have you? Did you join us over at the creative group? That's on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, I hope you did. If you, if you didn't, I hope you will because that's a fun place. A lot of us here are on Facebook. Now, I'm going to break the seal because it's sticking too much. I'm going to have to break this, so I'll have to make a new seal. But that's no big deal. I'm just ruining how these stickers she made. I want to open this up and show you how much is in here. I'm so glad to know you've been watching. Oh, that's wonderful. It makes me happy. Sometimes I wonder who's watching this anymore. Anyway, okay, so this is about, how, this. you know, these are all random. They're all random packs, so there might be a little more. There might be a little less. might be different stuff. That's basically what was ever in this box. Yeah. Okay, this was filled to the brim. So whatever I threw down on it. Okay, so this is what's in one bag. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot. This is out of, there's stuff out of bead mixes in here, too. Here's a crackle glass bead. That's what Hobby's talking about. Uh, yeah, I've been to get, I got some of mine. Some of these. Crackle you know, There's just all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah, so this whole pile of beads you're getting for free. I'm giving them to you. So what I'm hoping, I think I started to say it, is that enough people get these with a $35 up order, because mainly, you know, then it, the postage covers me sending them to you. Give them to you free. The postage covers me sending them to you, basically. Um, but if we get enough people who are interested, who get these, I'd like to have a little challenge at the creative group. It would take several weeks to be able to finish it so everybody gets their beads and everything like that. Whoever had this, use what's in here. You can combine maybe a few more things. I would prefer everything be from you. Use of the ticks if I'm doing a challenge and I'm going to give a prize, which I am. I want it to be, I don't care about jump rings and stuff like that, but you know, I want, I want whatever you do for that challenge to be from our place. Um, so you can use the contents of the bag. My goodness, you know, you could just do a bunch of, of earrings. You could do a whole earring wardrobe out of this. There you go. I mean, it's got spacer beads. Look at that. There's spacer beads. All that. No, but I will. I hope you do. Hey, Karen Gale, Watson, Wilson, Tate. <laughs> Karen's been with us a long time. That's true. I'm so happy I just found this man. I'm. I happy she just found this man. Am I a turtle? A Am turtle? I a turtle? <laughs> okay. You mean the man in the bag? I read. You know what, Karen? I read this wrong. And when I read what your comments said, I'm so happy I just found a man. <laughs> No, 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 a That's man. What I thought she said. There's a man in the bag. <laughs> no. There's a man in the bag. There's a man in the bag. Yeah, I just showed you. you look oh, that look. Oh, let me get him on. Yeah, he was in that one bead mix I threw down in there. He's I don't know if he's a snowman or what. He's but he's a man. all brown. I think it'd be white, right? For snow, right? That's true. Hey, Chris, how you doing? So glad you're here. So this is basically what I want to tell you today. I want to show you the stuff that's in the speed bag because most of it now is up on our website at beastboutiques.com. So you can buy it, I think, in lots of 12 pieces, 10 pieces, something like that for very little money, the acrylics. Um, these are on, too, the stone. I think these come in a strand. They're not terribly expensive either. Yeah. Um, Nothing I sell is terribly expensive. What do you want me to do? Put it in the frame. <laughs> she wants me to put it in the frame? Okay. She's my director. She directs there we me. Go. She directs me what to do. It is. It's full for sure. And it's free. 35 buck order. So you get to get $35 worth of my wonderful stuff, whatever you want, and then you get this free. Woohoo! And then if you're in the creative group, come join us. I'll ask and see, you know, in a week or so, how many people got these bags that wants to be in a, in a fall contest. Because I want you to have this bag. I want you to start working primarily with what's in this bag. You know, a lot of people who have foul, uh, challenges and stuff, they'll put a kit together and you got to buy it, you know. Well, you don't have to buy it. It just comes with your order. But I do want you to use what's in here. And then if you've got to add your own jumps and chain and loves or claw, whatever like that, yeah. But I want it to be beast of stuff, and I give you so much in here that I know you could do it. You might have to stretch a little bit your imagination, or maybe not. If you just, like I said, if you just do earrings, 
you're home free. You're just going to be working out of a pile of beads, and you're going to have so much fun doing that, for sure. Looks like a cookie. <laughs> the man? Or? Jeffy Lou said that. Looks like a cookie. Donna Jean. Aussie boo. Okay. Oh, hey, Sharon. How you doing? Go with us. Okay. So, ha, 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 girls. Who said that? Oh, Karen. Look at that. Beady goodness. Yeah. So it is beady goodness. So I think I'm about done here today. Everybody that wants to get in on the drawing for today, which all you got to do to be in it is say something on the live feed today. Yeah, so you have a couple seconds. And then, then we use that. Um, if anybody that watches this, I don't care, live feed, other feed, if you would be so kind as to like our video and to leave us a comment underneath the video in the regular section, because we only have this feed over here you know, on the one side when we're live. You know, a lot of our videos aren't live. If you would just leave us a comment there too, we will respond. Any questions you have, comments, whatever, we will respond. But it's like a gift when you do that because it helps a lot for our rank and we need that. So I'm just asking you, it's a little thing, takes not even a minute. A share, a like, a comment. Share, a like, a comment. Comments are great. I love to see the comments. When, when, when YouTube looks down, they see all these comments. Do, 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 do. It helps us to get seen. All right, guys. So I don't know what else to say. Anybody else have something to say? Anybody else have something to say here today? Get on here so I can count you. I'm going to wait like 30 seconds. Shall we uh, count together? Three. One, two, three. No, that's no. boring. That's boring. Anyway, so yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking this little bag of beads. I'm so happy with it. When these beads came in, I said, hey, I can do a nice bead giveaway. Maybe we can do a challenge. We haven't done a challenge for a while. Oh, another thing I'll tell you about, too. I'm just kind of mulling this around, putting it together. I want to do a splendiferous, splendiferous chandelier earring class. That's not going to be like your mama's chandelier earrings. It's not going to be... It's just going to use some of the things like we did in the boho class we just did, but other a lot of metal and stuff, too. You may have stuff already you can use. Um... And I want it to be just one day class, not a long class. And I would like to have it sometime, uh, sometime in October at the latest, the first week of November. After that, people start getting busy with holidays and stuff. But it's one day. It's going to be one day. And it probably would be a Friday because that's what's good for, you know, hubby. Unless we can talk her into coming on Saturday sometime. And I doubt we will because she goes to her mama's. I don't her. go to my mom on Saturday. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. Well, I thought you did. You go on Sunday. No. No? You don't go on the I weekend? I get restricted by my husband. Oh, you get restricted? <laughs> no. Well, maybe we can talk her into a Saturday class because more people can come then. But it's up to her. She's boss on that one. Because <laughs> I, I need her. She loves to hear that. Um, she... She it's takes care of everything. She fusses after me so bad, you guys. But the reason why... We have nice events. It's because she does. And that's all I got to say about that. Hey, you're welcome, Andrea. And then I will tell you more about that because I'm still in the planning yeah. stages of it. And I'm going to make samples so you can see ahead of time what the hey I'm talking about. Believe <laughs> me, you're going to want to do it. You're going to want to do it. It's just, if you make jewelry to sell and you make stuff like this for your Etsy this fall holiday season... You're going to sell a lot of it. I'm telling you, you will. All right. You can take that to the bank. All right, guys. You guys have been wonderful. Thanks for all the participation today. It's so wonderful to see you here. Um, we're so glad to see uh, Rosa Angela, is it, from Brazil, is here today. And Wearing Stones from Norway. What is your name? <laughs> Get those your name. Come join us. If any of you are not in a creative group, I think most yes. of you are, please come it's join. In the, it's in the description below. Yeah, she, you'll find a link. Javi, she's real good about leaving all that stuff for you. Mm. And also, um, all these beads that we did are in the new autumn collection, and you can't miss it if you come to beesomteaks.com. Javi's got a great big banner. It's a sliding banner. Yeah, and you'll see it come up. She designed a beautiful banner. 
and there's a little thing shop now click on that and then you can come see what all we put in there so far and i'm still putting stuff in because there's a lot of stuff okay guys i gotta go you gotta go it is fun betty 